I'm not recording you. <laughs> Forgot. She's Here. holding the camera and I'm like, are you do you want to start recording? And she's like, oh, is that what we're doing? Duh. <laughs> I don't know I what's wrong with me today. It's already six o'clock and we came home and ate fried chicken and I just fell asleep and decided I was gonna start my day now. Math. Many yeah. days ago, we did the second coat of paint. So we did one coat of paint one day, second coat of paint the next day. Then we waited three days for it to dry and now we're ready to smack a handle on it and put it back in so I can take all of my stuff off of the floor and put it in a drawer and call it good. It smells like paint in here too though. Maybe that's why I'm so loopy because I've been sleeping in here with yeah, the paint that chemicals. Could be. It's a little tricky. So I'm trying to propose that everyone goes on a. So, I thought Stella was chewing a bone. What is this? Oh, paper it's roll. my toilet paper. Stella's in there chewing it. It's a <laughs> bone. Gosh, I'm... come on, guys, let's go get you a new bone. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I like cats. Wow, it looks really good, Morgan. Thank you. Right? It looks yeah, good, right? No, it, I wrong? really think it looks good. You know how when people have babies, but their babies are ugly, but they think their baby is oh, cute? Oh, stop it. So it might be because I've just put so much effort oh. into it that I think it's cute, and everyone else is going to be like, ooh. <laughs> it's cool, though, because it looks modern, but not too modern. It's like vintage -y modernized. If that yeah. makes sense. I haven't told everyone that the weird noises in my room are back and I've been mm. logging them on my phone because we'll be sitting downstairs. The living room is directly underneath this bedroom. Mm -hmm. And we always hear the spookiest like scratching noises. We're gonna put the camera in here and it's literally gonna be the cat. But what if we get an orb on it? Then we say, hey. I heard you were in need of one of my services. Look what I have. Finally getting to use my fan brush. Let me feel it. Oh, it's tough. Grandma's gonna try filming. This is what we call Gram Cam. Eye on the target. <laughs> wow. Oh, I see how that works. I can't see you. I can only see the fam. <laughs> I can't get this one. Oh my god, this one's a wild bull. It is a lit Sunday. My service for the day will be $49.95. You can pay well, you have either to... PayPal, card, or cash. Let me know. All right, we have another room. Okay, well then it's gonna be a hundred and something. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready real fast so we can get on with this production. It's called Showbiz. <laughs> Since I started school, because now I have like so much going on every day, always busy doing something, and I feel like a stress pressure point in my head at all times of all days, and I've developed a stress line, like, it's like a literal indent in my forehead right here, it like caves in, crater, like an asteroid just because NASA isn't going to take a picture and post it on National Geographic for everyone to see, everyone's just going to be like, dang, what happened to your forehead? You have a crater, girl. I don't know. Guess that's why people get Botox, but I'm a little too scared for that because I watched a video about a girl that got paralyzed after she got Botox, so. I have a stress crater on my forehead because I will never let a man take care of me. A little under here. Do you guys watch The Bachelor? Why does Matt James always kiss girls with his eyes wide open? See how easy it is? You can just do it without even thinking about it. I can do one eye at a time. Like, no offense to him, I feel like he's great. And if he heard this, he'd be like, thank you for sharing that with me. <laughs> Why does he always say that? I had a dream last night that I was DMing with Fetty Wap. Like, I don't even really listen to Fetty Wap's music all that often, but I think about him a lot. It's really weird. I'm sorry, I'm in a really weird mood today. Hey. Is this out? What the fuck? I paid good money for this shit. Oh, I did not do good at all like on that. I was busy thinking about Mr. Fetty. I rarely buy jeans. I buy jeans probably like once every year and a half. So I had these ones. <laughs> fell off a swing and it took the back pocket with it, which it still kind of works, but I was like, eh. yesterday I walked into anthropology and I was actually looking for home stuff and I was like, this is such a mom store, only mom shop here, but I saw these pair of jeans. Oh, uh, the second I saw them, I was like, yeah, my shit's over. These jeans 
fit me like butter on Jesus himself's bread. Let me try them on for you. Oh, put this on and you're gonna be like, is she okay? I kind of look like Harry Potter, but also this is like what I'm gonna wear when I wanna live in a big city and also go to grad school. I do know where Yale is now, just so you know. Cloak of invisibility-ish. I think you look really, really cute. Do you wanna tell everyone that you got the vaccine? I did, but everybody knows. You've been on a press <laughs> tour. How did it feel? <laughs> I like it. I'm glad to have it though. First Good. day, I was kind of tired and groggy, but since then, I've been just fine. We are back again where we first started. We're back. I used to love coming here when I was a kid because they have Subway. Could get a lit ham and cheese sandwich for $5. I don't know if they still do $5 foot longs though. I'm gonna get an aesthetic shot of me looking at the rugs. Can you see the front of this one or just the I made my mark. And if we get that rug, the dogs are gonna make their mark on it, that's for sure. I'm gonna envision myself in all of these houses to see which one I look best in, okay? She is so happy, only because her grandma's gonna buy her a couch. I am getting hangry, people, if you can't tell. I was wondering. What are you getting angry about? Oh my gosh, look how big this is. <laughs> yeah. Did we grab napkins? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh God. What? There's egg salad on my new pants. Napkin for you. Napkin for you. Thank you. Napkin for you. I think it's good. It's the biggest sandwich. Big sandwich for a big hungry girl. At it again. Looks like a big pop socket. I look like Kermit the Frog detective version. Damn, what you getting? <laughs> this feels really good to be in the outdoors sometimes. She's at Lowe's. <laughs> I put the camera here and forgot about it and almost drove away. Oh my god. And the car key. It's okay. Everything's okay. We had a successful shopping day, that's for sure. I was trying to show everyone how they are sitting on the trash can. Taking these out. Sayonara, ragachata. That is huge. Two cute rugs. Uh, the screw is too long. Boom. Day, I got something to fix this hideous, horrendous chair. Derobe her. Zion. I don't need anyone but my blanket. I'm just gonna let it sit like that and it's gonna thrive forever with the zebra print underneath. That is nice. That's my mom is really doing the most right now. It's been weeks. The end of the blue tape era. She got trapped. I put all the tape on the floor. I didn't know you were trying to exit. Okay. Still one on your foot. Huh? There's still one. Okay. No, 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 no. That looks like a COVID tester. So we're gonna use those Gonna make a template. A oh, template? Is that a power saw? That would be a power saw. That would be a power tumble. <laughs> well, it smells like we're about to cook up some s'mores. This is man stuff. For these guys, put that guy in there. Oh. Precise mathematics. Leave the power saw out here for anyone to steal. I've been watching a lot of true crime documentaries. I don't know if you want to leave a power saw plugged in in your driveway. Just a tip. I guess if this video doesn't get posted, we all know what happened. Power saw. Oh my god, it's like a teak wood candle. I can't believe you didn't paint the back of those. Here's your sacrificial template. You can keep that. Um, oh, we are done almost. Hello, Morgan. Oh, are you already starting? So we're done. We finished today, barely. It's not perfect yet, 
But I think at a point you kind of just have to like accept it for what it is. Anyway, this is the entrance to my room. <laughs> All of the countertops are destroyed. Oh my god, I think that's gum. The bathroom is a horrifying mess. So my mom painted the door. I don't know if this light adds anything or takes away anything, but it's all we got. Step in with me, step in with me. First, we have the bathroom. We had to paint, we had to fill in all the holes. We got a new light fixture. I love my fancy hotel mirror. I really think it was quite convenient whoever decided to put a chair in here because it made it so easy to <laughs> screw in all these little things. Imagine this, right? You're sitting here having the time of your life and now we have a new toilet paper holder. Bam, new toilet paper holder. And then you have easy access to the towel and boom, the mirror. Immaculately placed all of my favorite things. It doesn't really look like the cutest thing in the world, but it's pretty convenient. Oh shoot, sorry. Where did you get that? Whoa, 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 watch out, watch out. I forgot to set the mood. Now that grandma lives here, we're popular because she is like a socialite, right? And she has a billion people that call her every day. One of these days, someone is gonna wanna come visit her. Bathroom guest book. And you can sign your name, say what you're doing in here, do a little doodle. Then if something bad ever happened, have a tracker of who was here and when. We play Animal Crossing, right? And Aunt Susie gets mad at us because she said that our island had no airport appeal, like it wasn't spectacular enough when you first enter. This is what I call airport appeal, you know? Like you stop in and you're like, oh, it's pretty nice. If you look through all the nooks and crannies, you might think differently, but first, this is the nightstand. The way that we tried to do this was using what we already had, and we only had one nightstand. Because if we had two, then obviously you would put like two by your bed, but we only had one, and I was like, okay, we're not gonna waste it. Stand here and pretend you're in a nice jungle. Got these books on sale at Barnes & Noble, and it says, Vicky, I, I thought I heard your voice, and I thought that it looked like me, because my mom's name is Vicky. You know? Cute. We just got this mirror yesterday. Perfect for looking at yourself, perfect for contemplating life. This is my life hack because my plant was too short for this pot. So everyone keeps these, right? Like you never throw them away. It's too short so I put the iPhone boxes under, kind of just take up space anyway. I really put a lot of thought into this, right? Because typically I wouldn't go for beige and typically I wouldn't go for like earth tones, but I was trying to make it match the rest of my mom's house, which is beige. So usually I would like throw up at the idea of beige, but I kind of like this. Like it feels kind of good. I'm a woman of many layers and I can do earth tones too. Looking around stores and everyone's wearing all of green right now. So I was like, okay, we're gonna do all of green. Or a hunter green or a forest green. Yeah, I didn't really pay attention to the whole Roy G. Biv thing in art class. You didn't? Oh, okay. But it's a, good, it's a good green. So I was trying to make this a neutral place. So you could use it either as a desk or a vanity. Fancy green chair here. Like, email your boyfriend, or you could whip out some eyebrow gel and start doing your makeup. Accepting of all activities. Went to American Furniture Warehouse and found this lamp, and the lamp was the culprit for the whole room. Best advice that you could give someone is if you want to create a room, you should pick one thing, like a lamp or a pillow or something that you really love, and then base the whole room off of it. The lamp works. It can really change the mood. Nice little nature corner. The last thing that we have is the dresser that we painted. I did notice I forgot to put a second coat of paint on this one drawer and you can kind of tell, but you can really sit here and think about who you are, who you're gonna be next. It's all done. Beautiful. I what would you it. rate it on a scale of one to 10? 10. 10? <laughs> now I'm back to square one of having no life purpose. This is it. So let's, <laughs> this is all I have to offer for today. Let's pick a new plan and do it again. I think that concludes the bedroom renovation from my disgusting hoarder childhood room to <laughs> <laughs> a somewhat nice guest room. Wow, it looks so nice. You vacuumed and everything, huh? 
I'm gonna go eat dinner. And then I'm gonna contemplate my life and figure out what I'm gonna do next. Goodbye, everyone. Hey, Molly, look in the mirror. You look fresh. Oh, yeah. The room is Oliver approved.